How do you know the Qur'an is a miracle? A student of the Qur'an one time received a message that her friend in Ramadan was in the emergency room so she went to see her and to help her during this difficult time. And when she went to see her, she sat with her for some time. And when her sick friend started to become sleepy, she said, I know you probably have some review of the Qur'an to do. So why don't you get some of your review done and I'll try to sleep for a while. So the student began to recite from Surah to nur while sitting next to her friend. And because her friend was still in the ER, instead of being in a completely separate room, the bed was separated by curtains. There are other patients there. Suddenly, an elderly man in the bed next to them behind his curtain started to yell out loud, that sound, that sound. What is that sound? The student immediately stopped reciting, hoping that the man did not hear her recitation or was affected or bothered by it because he was also a patient perhaps recovering. So the man continued to yell, that sound, that sound, nurse, what is that sound? And he started calling the nurse. One of the nurses walked by and she heard him and the students are listening from behind their own curtains, uh, these two students. So the nurse came by and said, I'm so sorry, sir. Let me take care of that beeping sound for you. And she lowered the volume on one of the machines perhaps. And so the sound was a little quieter. So the student now took a breath and basically started to recite once again, this time hearing the neighbor ask the, the old man, what is that sound? Neighbor, what was that sound? Did you hear that sound? Now, at this point, you can tell the man was not referring to the machines. There was no denying he had heard the recitation of the Quran. The student was a little embarrassed that she had perhaps bothered the man. She said, I'm so sorry that I bothered you. And then he responded and said, no, what was that sound? As soon as I heard it, it went to my ear and then it's straight to my heart. And I felt that my entire body was at peace. What was that sound? Just tell me what it was. She responded by saying, the reason you felt this way was because these are the words of God. She told him she was reciting the Qur'an. And they started to converse through the curtains about the Qur'an and about Islam in a brief manner. And she realized very quickly, this man had never heard of Islam. He didn't hear of the Qur'an. According to what he said, this was the first time that he heard this. And he said something that would have an impact on this student and many others who heard this for years to come. He said, that is amazing. He said, we need to make CDs, for those who know what CDs are. We need to make CDs. We need to spread this across the country. This will change the world. He said, can you say it again? Can you repeat what you were doing? So she started to recite again from Surah to nur And then eventually, as she is reciting a page or two or three, eventually the man fell asleep. He found it to be very peaceful. Now the man is right. The Quran has changed the world in the past, will continue to do so in the future. And it is our responsibility when we come across the truth and we are blessed with the Quran to appreciate it ourselves, to hold on to it, to act upon it, but also to share it with as many people as possible. The, the, the student who went through this started to reflect on her own relationship with the Quran. How many times did you read just to read? Did you memorize just to memorize? How many times had the Quran that you recited or listened to in a random clip how many times did it actually reach your heart? So this student said when she picked up the Mus'haf, she was asking herself, did she realize and recognize what she had literally changed the world? That this was a gift to the entire world, that this was guidance to the entire world, that it needed to be spread and taught to other people who may have never heard of it. And of course, that you are reciting a miracle from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a mu'ajizah. The Quran, is one of the many miracles given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it is a miracle which outlasts the final prophet. Unlike any other prophet, this miracle is not limited in time and space. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, every prophet was given miracles because of which people believed. But what I have been given is divine inspiration, the Quran, what Allah has revealed to me. So I hope my followers will outnumber the followers of other prophets on the day of resurrection. Now, we've known children who pose the question innocently and they would ask, why didn't the Prophet ﷺ get a miracle like the splitting of the sea or the raising of the dead with Moses and Jesus, peace be upon them, Musa and Isa? But the reality is the Prophet ﷺ addressed that question in this hadith. He says, what I have been given is revelation. So I hope to have the largest number of followers on the day of judgment. Why is he saying the Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? that he will have the largest number of followers. And this is a guarantee. 
And Jibreel alayhi salam showed him this in one of the visions that he saw. Because miracles like the splitting of the sea at the time of Musa or the raising of the dead at the time of Prophet Isa alayhi salam, these were witnessed by people present at the time. Yes, it is visual. It's an empirical thing that you see. It's a sense experience. The Quran is a miracle which can be witnessed and experienced by all people until the end of times. It is one that is not limited to just one sight at that time. Imagine if you witnessed the splitting of the sea. Of course, it would boost your iman. It would strengthen your faith and your certainty, right? Ayn al yaqeen this is what you see and experience visually and empirically of miracles. So it gives you certainty. But we have access to a miracle that is not bound by time and not limited to the basic experience of just seeing or hearing. The Quran is comprehensive, all-encompassing in terms of the facets of knowledge and miracles. The miraculous nature of the Quran is a subject that can be studied over and over and over and in depth throughout your life and you'll never run out of things to study and things to experience and to discover. And really, when you think about the Mus'haf, you're not just discovering one or two things. You realize that if you're amongst the people who place your copy of the Quran on a shelf and you're not really thinking about it and it starts to dust or the app that you have on your phone that you rarely open compared to all the other apps, you realize very quickly you're not appreciating that miracle. So one of the first things we can do with our relationship with the Quran is to value it and to hold it really tight in our hearts and to really think about its meanings and to act according to it and to share it with others. I will leave you with this question. What surah or ayah brings you peace every time you recite it?